Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Pastor. Yes, you Good may morning. start, please. Thank you very much. Turn to me in, with me in your Bibles to Luke chapter 18. beginning at verse three, and it reads, and there was a widow in that city, and she came unto him saying, avenge me of my adversary. And he would not for a while, but afterwards he said within himself, though I fear not God nor regard man, yet because this widow troubleth me, I will avenge her, lest by her continual coming she weary me. The title of the message is Pray Until Something Happens. Let's go ahead and pray. Almighty God and a heavy Father, as I speak your word to your people, I ask that the Holy Spirit would take full control in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray. Amen. Here we see in verse four that this judge said within himself that he has no regard for man or for God. And he just wanted to do what he felt like doing. It seems that this man had no intention of granting this widow what she was seeking. But the thing is, this widow, she was not concerned that the judge was not hearing her. She knew what she wanted and she persisted and she persisted because she was focused. So when we come to pray, we need to be focused on what it is that we are seeking from Almighty God. And verse five says, the judge says, yet because this widow troubleth me, I will avenge her. He saw the woman as one who was troubling him and because of her persistence. And I must remind us here that God's people will endure through prayer when we are persistent in prayer. Jesus tells a parable of this persistent widow who had a need and sought to help and sought help from an unjust judge. The judge somewhat ignored her time and time again, but she kept on coming back again and again, making her request known to him. The question is, how bad do you want what you want? The question is, how important is it to you? Are you prepared to do whatever it takes to get what you want? So when it comes to pray, these are the questions that we need to ask ourselves. And if something is important, then we will put everything into it to see to it that we will have success. Here, the, the judge says, lest by her continual comment, she weary me. The judge had a clear sense of this woman's purpose. This woman, he recognized that she was focused and he recognized that she was not giving up. So as a result of, of her continually coming before him, he recognized that she was serious and she was not going to quit. He viewed her constant, continual plea for help as troubling to him and understood by her action that she was not going to stop. As a result, he perceived that this woman, constant, continual coming to him would weary him out eventually. So guess what? He granted her request. For some of us, when we pray once and we don't get an answer, and we pray twice or maybe four times, sometimes we become discouraged. 
By the time we pray about five or six times, we are ready to abandon our requests. We can all learn from this parable that we must never give up when we pray. Sometimes it seems that our requests are not getting through to God's throne. But we need to be persistent. Don't ever give up. Press on, my brothers and sisters. We must push. And when I talk about push, I am talking about pray until something happens. So we need to prepare to do whatever is necessary to get our prayers answered. You understand that you cannot give up even though you don't quite understand why your prayers are not being answered. And sometimes we, we pray and we pray and we don't understand why our prayers are not answered and we examine ourselves to see if there's something standing in the way and we can't find anything, but we, 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 we somewhat become discouraged and we want to abandon our prayer request. We must not abandon we must continue praying and continue praying. We must sing songs to encourage ourselves when our prayers are not being answered. And you're feeling the way we must sing songs of praise and give God thanks in advance for that which we desire. When you thank God in advance, is an act of faith believing that the things that you're asking for, you know you're going to receive it. And of course, we must hope. And keep on hoping until our praise becomes a reality. God's people must be a people of hope. And when we look at the word hope, it's all about what the Christian experience is about because we are hoping in the coming of Jesus Christ and we know that our hope is sure and secure because Jesus has promised that he's coming back again. So we can keep on hoping when we pray because we know that Jesus will not withhold any good thing from us. He came and he gave himself which was the greatest gift and everything else after that is secondary. So we can be assured that God desires to give us the things that we stand in need of, the things that are good for us. When you pray for employment and you pray and you still don't have a job, do you stop praying? No, you cannot stop praying because if you stop praying, you will be unemployed and you will not be able to take care of yourself. God desires for you to work. The word of God says by the sweat of your brow, you should eat bread. God wants his people to work. So we must keep on praying until we get that job. Someone might be praying for a spouse and you've been praying and you've been praying and, and, and for some reason you have not seen that spouse yet should you stop praying and as you consider that you need to remember what the word of God says it is not good for man to be alone so we can rest assured that, that once it's a need, God will fulfill that need because it is he who has said it's not good for man to be alone. So we just got to pray and continue praying until God sends uh, that person at the right time. Sometimes we become weary and sometimes we want to give up because our timetable is different to God's timetable. We are a different time schedule. So we need to align our clocks and, and set them in harmony with the clock of heaven. Be persistent and continue to trust God. Someone might be praying to have a child. And you've been praying and praying and it seems like nothing is going to happen. But that's why 
we must continue pray because it is God when he created this world and he created Adam and Eve, he commanded them and he told them increase and multiply. So we do know that children are something that God wants us to have. So we just got to pray and continue praying until something happens. Maybe you might be sick. It might be a family member, a friend or co-worker, and you're praying and you're praying, but there is no healing. Should you give up praying? You may be praying for a week or so. Should you stop praying? Even though you have not seen any evidence of change, should you stop praying? You cannot stop praying because there's still a need for healing. So we got to continue praying and continue praying until we see the evidence of healing. But we should not give up. Because we cannot see it, it doesn't mean that it's not happening. We must continue to pray and to trust God. Because when we continually pray and keep continue praying, even though we do not see the evidence of our praise being answered, it doesn't mean that God is not working on our request. Pray until we see the reality of our praise. You might be praying for someone to accept Christ as their Lord and Savior, but yet you're not seeing any evidence that that person is making a change and accepting the Lord Jesus Christ. Should we give up? No, we got to continue praying and we got to continue praying until that person surrenders their heart to Jesus. We as God's people, we cannot just share the word of God, but we have to pray because this work is, is not just about telling somebody about Jesus, but it's also about praying because Jesus himself says, harvest is ready, but the laborers are few. Pray that the Lord of the harvest will send reapers. We gotta pray whatever we do. We gotta pray we, because that's the only way we're gonna endure. We're gonna endure through pray. So we gotta pray. No, I want you to go to Daniel chapter 10. And in the book of Daniel chapter 10, I find this to be quite interesting. This passage is one that is very inspirational. There's so much that is contained in these verses. And I'm just going to look at verses 12 to 14. And here it reads in Daniel 10, beginning at verse 12, and says, Then said he unto me, Fear not. And that's what I like about good angels when they show up they, they calm your fears and they let you know there's no need to fear and so I say to you this morning when your prayers don't seem to be answered do not fear continue to trust God by faith and it says Daniel do not fear not Daniel for from the first day that thou didst set thy heart to understand and to chasten thyself before thy God, thy words were heard, and I am come for that word. You see, the situation here is that Daniel was praying. And Daniel was praying, and, and, and day one had went by, and, and Daniel did not see any evidence that his prayer was heard. And Daniel continued praying and being persistent in prayer. Day three came and still no answer and Daniel continued to pray and the days went by and still no answer to pray then day 21 came and Daniel then was praying just as sincere as he was praying on day one and day two because Daniel believed that God was going to hear his prayer so Daniel did not give up Daniel was encouraged Daniel was a was focusing, Daniel was standing firm, and eventually the angels showed up to give Daniel an explanation. And notice what the angels said. From the first day that thou didst set thy heart to understand and to 
that chastened thyself before thy God, thy words were heard. I'm here today to remind somebody that God is saying to you that even though you've been praying for days and, and you don't see the evidence that God has answered your prayers, God wants you to know that the first day you set up your prayer to his throne room, he heard your prayer. Wait for the answer. It is coming. And verse 30 says, but the prince of the kingdom of Persia withstood me. One and twenty days, but lo, Michael, one of the chief prince, came to help me, and I remained there with the kings of Persia. And then he says, And now I am come to make thee understand what shall befall thy people in the latter days, for yet the vision is for many days. Then pray. And from the first day, Daniel sent up his. The word of God told us that his praise were answered. But Daniel saw no evidence of it. It took 21 days for Daniel to see the evidence of his prayer. For you, I don't know how many days or how many months has gone by. Maybe it might be years. It really doesn't matter because the God that we serve is not, is not constrained and contained by days and weeks and years. You see, for us, what we want, we want it now. But God knows best. It's our responsibility to keep on praying until something happens. It's our responsibility to keep on praying until our praise, our answered we must never give up we must never become discouraged our faith must be anchored in the lord our faith must be anchored in persistent prayer just like that woman she came day after day and the judge seemed as though he did not care about the woman but he acknowledged something. He acknowledged that the woman was serious. He acknowledged that she was persistent. She acknowledged that she would come and she would continue coming before him continually. And even though he would not grant her request, that was not going to stop her. This woman was not discouraged. This woman was full of faith. And she knew that it was just a matter of time before our praise would be answered. My brothers and my sisters, let us follow the example of this woman who did not faint, but she endured through prayer. She endured because she had a need. She endured because she understood that she had no other choice but to keep on Keep on praying until something happens. And I'm here to remind us this morning that we must do the same. Keep on praying until your prayers are answered. Bow your heads with me for prayer. Almighty God and the Heavenly Father, we are thankful that you have given us instruction instructions within your word to guide us in our prayer life. We are thankful to know that God that, that you are a God that cares about us. We are thankful that this parable is recorded to give us an understanding that we as your people, we must be persistent in praying. We must pray until our prayers are answered and there's no time that we shall ever give up. Because we do not see the, the immediate answer to our prayers, that's no reason for us to give up. We have the example in the book of Daniel, which demonstrate to us that even though that we are praying and it seems like our prayers are not answered, our prayers already been answered. It's just a matter of time 
for us to see the evidence. So Father, I pray that you encourage your people for whatever they're praying for and for ever how long they have been praying that they will never give up. They will continue praying and continue praying and continue trusting you because you are faithful and you will not withhold any good thing from those who love you. So Father, once more again, we are thankful for your words and we pray that these words will stay with us and we will put them into practice. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen.